and power on. Not much going on there. Interesting. OK, let's take the front off. We just then switch the unit off, loaded. We got minus 320 milliamps. And again, I think that will remain quite consistent. It's going to do that forever. Notice that the fan, not sure what happened there to be honest. Right, we'll take the four screws out the front again. voltages I guess so power on ok the internal LED on the power supply is on so that would to me indicate that the power supply is running DC volts. Yep, we've got 48 volts. Let's just move that back so you guys can see. Okay. Okay. We've got 48 volts on there and 24 on there. So the power supply is running. Nothing on the screen. Let's check the fuses. I believe this is the 48 volt fuse. Yeah, 48 volts that side. And nothing that side. So it looks as if that fuse is blown. Okay, I'll disconnect the front panel and we'll just have a closer look. Having shot the video where I charged the sealed lead acid battery and, um, and did the tests, as a subscriber asked, it would appear that my power supply is now dead. Um, I've got the meter in continuity mode, so the 15 amp fuse is fine. The 10 amp fuse has blown, if you can see that. The 10 amp fuse is open circuit, and um, my MOSFETs appear to be shorted across the two MOSFETs. Now I assume as they're insulated from the heat sink that they shouldn't be shorted together. Uh, it's a bit difficult to get the probes in. Yeah, actually that one would appear, so the one on the left hand side would appear to be totally short circuit. And the one on the right hand side, it's really difficult to get to. Yeah, it looks like that's kind of short circuit as well. So I think the MOSFETs have um, shorted out. And um, yeah, it's dead. So I'm going to contact Fenerzi and hopefully they will either repair or replace the unit. And I will keep you informed as to what happens. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.